All right, Samson, we can proceed now. Proceed to be light. Samson, following the rules and regulations manual is very important. What rubbish! Engines and rolling stock can't read books, let alone even have time to if we could do such a thing. I've heard newcomers in the goods yards and industries we serve bring it up a lot. If you paid more attention, I'm sure you'd hear them talk about it. Ha! Like anyone would be interested in having a conversation about the rules. Going too fast, according to the rule. Yeah, 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 just get to the point. You're going too fast with a low priority train. But we're already late, thanks to you being concerned about the trucks being a little overloaded. Thompson, you ought to listen to me. Brake fans are to ensure that engines obey the rules. Now, I will keep my brakes applied until you decide to listen to me. All right then, I'll go slowly. What's the matter, Samson? Are you lost again? No, I'm not. Just running late, that's all. Oh, so now you've turned to being late. What's next? Joining James and getting out of nasty jobs? I feel like a fool listening to Bradford. He clearly has no right to control my actions. Besides, my actions aren't causing harm to anybody or to me. Ah, don't fret, matey. Those fans of dynamite would be stuck here much longer if you had arrived on time. But it still doesn't make up for the fact that being late causes problems for everybody else. It wouldn't surprise me if the sidings at the Blue Mountain Quarry were filled to their capacity with stone trucks upon my return. This time, I won't listen to Bradford. I'll show him that he's not in control of me. Samson, slow down at once. Sorry, I didn't hear you. What did you say? I said to slow down. You're delivering a hazardous load. Unsparked from your funnel can lead to disaster. All right, I'll go slower. Samson, if you don't slow down, I'll apply my brakes. All right then, break to Jalbi. What was that for? You were going too fast. I was going at the proper speed. No, you weren't. Yes, I was. What are you two doing here? Sir? It looks like the coupling between Bradford and the last van has broken. So I see. Tell me how this happened. Well, sir, according to the... I asked about the broken coupling, not the rules and regulations manual. Well, sir, Samson was going dangerously fast. Was not. Was too. Silence. I shall decide who's at fault. Samson. Tell me your side of the story. I was trying to make up for lost time, sir, due to the delay earlier today, which was caused by Bradford not allowing me to go at the speed limit. He tried to stop me yet again, but I didn't listen, thus breaking the coupling. He believes, sir, that I must go at slow speeds while pulling a less prioritized or dangerous load. Hey, you can't blame me for trying to carry out my important responsibilities as a brake van. In this case, I can. Just because you're an important part of the train, that doesn't mean you're in control. Yes, sir. Uh, sorry, sir. Now that's settled, Winston and I will go to the goods yard and get a new coupling so you can finish your task. Ah, now I can be on time. I can only hope that Bradford has learned his lesson. 